Howdy, I'm Corey Milligan, owner of New West Knife Works. We're going to talk today about one of the most important skills in using kitchen knives, and that's how to sharpen them. We have been making knives here at New West Knife Works for 25 years. We've used all kinds of different sharpeners. There's lots of different things on the market. A lot of them work fine. We've just settled with um, using ceramic sharpening rods as our preferred method. Um, and I'm gonna give you a little lesson on how to use these. So just a little background. These are ceramic steels, ceramic sharpeners. They look like the traditional steel hone that you get with a knife set, but they work differently. This is made out of ceramic, which is harder than steel. So when you hone your knife on it, it's not just honing or aligning the blade, it's actually grinding away metal and sharpening it. And sharpening is not rocket science. We're really just grinding a fine angled point onto the edge of the knife. Um, and the most important thing to think about when you're doing that is holding the knife with a consistent angle against the sharpening surface. Um, and so when you're sharpening your knife, we're looking, we sharpen our knives at about a 17 de degree angle. Um, it's really much more acute than I think most people think. It's not some wide angle like this. A good way to establish the angle is if you hold it like this, you're at 90 degrees. If you go to half that, that's 45. Half again is 22 and a half. And a wee bit more is right in that 20 to 15 range that you want to be at. It's not so important that you have the exact you know, decimal point angle of 17 degrees, it's more important that you just maintain a consistent angle through your sharpening process and you will establish a, a sharp edge. Um, we have two different grits of sharpener. This is a medium coarse, which can get you almost up to shaving sharp and slicing tomatoes. This is fine to very fine, which can be used to just keep your knife super sharp or finish off a initial sharpening with the medium. Um, I'll show you a couple different ways to hold the knife. Again, it's not rocket science. We're just grinding a V, an angle into this steel of the knife. And so this, holding the knife like this at 90 degrees to the cutting board and sharpening like this is a very traditional kind of culinary school method of sharpening, um, very effective, especially if you're not very comfortable at holding your angle. You can really see the knife angle as you're going down the steel. As I'm, as I'm doing this, I'm starting at the heel of the knife. I'm going down and across the steel. Most efficient is to use the whole length of the steel from the heel to the tip of the knife's edge. When I start, I'm using kind of medium to, to firm pressure to remove more metal and get and really start establishing the angle. As I'm getting closer to what final sharpness, I'm using lighter and lighter pressure against the ceramic steel. The method that I use, if I'm starting with a dull knife, which, you know, um, you know, something that just kind of rides across a tomato here is an example of a pretty dull knife. This actually has a little bit of an edge on it, um, but it's not sharp at all. So when I, if I know this is pretty dull, I'm going to start by doing one side at a time. We're always doing even amounts of sharpening on each side of the knife. These are symmetrically ground edges. Um, so we're going to go, I'm going to start, because I know this is pretty dull, I'm going to start with 20 strokes on this side. Down and across 20 times. Okay, and then I'm going to switch to the other side and I'm going to do 20 strokes on this side. Down and across. You know, you're definitely going to have one side because you're right or left handed that it's a little easier to hold and sharpen the knife off on, but with practice, you can get comfortable on both sides. So I got 20 on this side, then I'm going to do 10 on this side. If you got a knife that's super dull, you might do two rounds of 20 on each side to start. And then I'm down to 10 on this side. Then I'm going to go to 10 on this side. 
Then I'm going to do five strokes on this side. Starting to bring a little bit lighter pressure now. Then we're going to go three on this side, getting lighter pressure. Three on this side. Then two on a side. Two on a side. And one nice light one on each side. So after the medium course, we're really pretty sharp already. Let's see. Um, you know, you can start to pretty easily slice this tomato. Um, you know, it's still a little resistance to the skin there. So then we move next to the, the white or fine sharpening steel. This one should get you up to well into shaving sharp range. You can also think of, if you like to just make sure you're keeping your knife sharp all the time, you just start with this one. As soon as you feel it not cleanly slicing a tomato or cleanly slicing things, you just start with this and keep it always in that sharp to very sharp range. So we use the same method, down and across. I'm gonna do 20 on this side. And one. And one. And then now let's see, we should be up into that really sharp spot we wanna be. See now how it's, we're not even having to use a slicing method, we can almost just push the knife straight through the tomato. So that's a nice sharp knife. That's what you're looking for. It's a pleasure to use a knife like this. Uh, you can process food faster. You can make it look more beautiful. Um, so let's try to keep them sharp like this all the time.